Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, we are going to cover this amazing airdrop. Is this the biggest airdrop of 2023? This is Dbank. We are going to cover, like always in my videos, a little bit about the project. And then we go step by step on everything that you need to do in order to participate on this possible airdrop. This is a very big project guys and if you already saw any of the videos about Dbank I recommend you to check this video anyways I'm sure that I am going to talk about things that you'd never cover in another airdrop videos about this project So before we start please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and without anything else let's get into it Hi team, this is a very expected video. This is about Dbank DeFi. And Dbank is a DeFi dashboard. Users can use it to track their portfolio, access data and analytics for the centralized lending protocol, stablecoins, margin trading platforms and DXs. Developers can integrate API endpoints, including information about users, chains, protocols and tokens in their programs. This project tracks more than 1,000 protocols across 39 chains, from lending to stable coins, margin trading platforms to DXs. So it's a very complete tool. I would say it's one of the top three biggest tools that we have in the crypto space. Dbank raised 25 million from Coinbase, Sequoia, Dragonfly, Circle and others. All big venture capitalists are backing this project. And this guys is a possible airdrop, it's not confirmed. The token and the airdrop is not confirmed. But similar projects have been launching their tokens in the past. You can see that they have 160,000 followers in Twitter. And many other protocols are also connected to this Dbank uh, application. So you also can download the mobile app. And they have many integrated products within their platform. So this is a very big platform. And you can see here in the Twitter they have partnerships all the time with many other protocols and networks. So now let's start with this possible airdrop. The step one and two guys is follow them on Twitter and Discord. The Discord, I would say, is not so popular. There's only eight channels and not much happening there. But if you want official links, that will be a good place to start. And also you have some news on the Twitter feed. So step one and two, follow them in Twitter and Discord. Now step three, let's go and connect with your wallet into dimbank.com and try to verify your account with your Twitter and your email. So when you go to dbank.com, you are going to need to connect with your wallet. And once you enter here, you are going to see a lot of things, guys. Basically, you have a panel on the left with many options and your ma main panel here on the center of the page. Here you have your account information. Here you have your wallet addresses. You can show that or hide it. Here you have your balance across all your, pro your portfolios. And here you have different sections, you start in the portfolio. So to the step three, we go down here and you can see add Twitter and add uh, email, or you can go also from the settings. So here you will see add your email and add your Twitter in your account to participate on the airdrop. I recommend you to do that. Many of the things that we are going to do are to not be considered a civil on this account. So you basically want to give some information to ensure that you are not a bot on this account. Now the step four is get your web ID minted. This costs $96. And here I want to say some stuff. Every video that I saw about the Dbank airdrop, all the YouTubers recommend to spend this $96, guys. If that price tag is too steep, you can skip this step. I personally don't recommend to spend that money just for the possible airdrop. I honestly think that with $96, you can farm a couple of CKC wallets and get more rewards on a possible airdrop. I am more confident of, a, of an airdrop on CKC than in Dbank. And I don't see why everyone is going to recommend you to spend $100 just like that for a possible airdrop. It's not what I think. Also, I really don't think that if they do an airdrop, they are going to force people to be rewarded only if they spend this almost $100. But besides all this, if you want to do it, do it. If you are farming airdrops, do it on your main account, but don't spend $100 on each of your farming networks for this possible airdrop that we don't even know if they are going to have a token. 
And it's funny how they say on their website that they are only are going to release for now 100,000 IDs. So they are a business. Never forget that they are not your friends. That statement is that they expect to win $9.6 million for those IDs that you certainly don't know if it's going to worth too much for anything. So this is a business guy. They are not innocent. And one statement that I can clear here is that airdrop hunters don't spend money. We earn money. Just for the purpose of applying to an airdrop, it doesn't seem worth it to spend a lot of money. Actually, you could use better strategies and that is what we cover in my private discourse. So I recommend you, if you are thinking to spend $96 farming this airdrop, think twice. You have better strategies with another airdrop than spending that money in this possible airdrop. Besides that, if you want to do it anyways, just because you really use the application and there are some features that you can get only with your ID, then for all means do it. But if you're only for the airdrop, don't do it. That is my personal recommendation. Now, after I say that, if you want to do it in the same place here, you just can click on pay 96 to mint and follow all the steps. You need to enter your ID. Here is how the ID should be and pay and mint with your network. Just follow the steps, it's super intuitive. Now, the step five is that you can share your profile with others, so to get followers. And this step, I think, is important. This could be a nice criteria for being an anti-civil for this project. If you go back here to the home, down here, maybe you cannot see it because I'm in the middle of the screen, but you have a button that is to share. You're going to see this model in your screen. This is your URL to share, so you can copy the URL and share that with another friend to follow and follow back. So because that follow back is going to be the TBF and this is the total value of followers. And I think this could be a metric for anti-civil. So step five, if you are in my Discord, you can share your link and we can follow each other. In my Discord, we are already covering debunk from a while. So you can see here, I have a debunk account where we share our links and follow each other. So you can join my private Discord. It only costs $10 for the monthly subscription. So maybe instead of spending $96 on that ID, you can spend $10 and join my community in Discord for one month where you can share your debunk profile. We can follow each other and be a member of my community for one month. You will see all the valuable information that we have there. So this step is to increase your TFB, the total value of followers. Here I will put the link to my subscription page where you can get the subscription that I just mentioned. I have a private Discord and I have an application to apply to airdrops and register to airdrops easily and have everything organized. Here you have the two videos on how my app works. But you click the button here on subscribe now, you pay the subscription and you're going to receive an email with everything. You can join for $10 one month, share your debunk link there and we share each other. And we have many other cool channels with amazing people there. So. Instead of spending $100 in a possible airdrop here, just spend 10 in something that is going to change your game. Now, step six, try to get badges from the badge section. So, for example, if you have the Web3 ID, you can get one badge. If you use Ruby Wallet, you can get a badge. And if you get OP airdrop, you can get a badge. So we go to that section here from the homepage. You can go here and go to badge. Click on view all badges. And you can see which ones you minted in this column and which ones the total mint. So you have Ape Airdrop Hunter. If you receive the airdrop of uh, Ape, you can mint this. If not, you come back here. And the one that we can do, for example, I didn't have this airdrop, so I cannot click here the mint button. But for example, in this account, I received the OP uh, airdrop. So you can see I can mint this badge. So just click on the mint button, confirm that, and you can see you mint successfully. So now you have this badge. So maybe some of the badges you can apply to them. I would recommend you to do it. So you have something there that could be also count as an anti civil if they do an airdrop. Now, step seven is try to have a net worth about a thousand dollars. Some chats talk 
about that as a possible anti-civil criteria speculating about this airdrop. I saw that in a couple of Reddit posts and stuff where they say that you may want to be above a thousand dollars on your account. You can see I have 1,700 on this account right now. So try to have in total around your protocols $1,000 or more. That could be an anti-civil that many people is speculating on. If you are liking this video so far, please take six seconds of your time to click the like button. That helps me a lot to grow my channel. And if it's your first time here and you are interested in airdrops, please click the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of my airdrop videos. Now, step eight, use the debank hive. So you need to create an account to, to do this, hit the register and send a request. You need to pay fees. If you are doing with Ethereum mainnet, it's around $5. I did it with Arbitrum, it's $1. So sign the request, confirm the transaction. Basically to do that here, you go to hive and I can already start conversations because I already created the account, but follow the, those steps. When you go to this section, it's really easy. Just confirm a transaction, basically. Now, step nine, after you create that account, you can load up your DBank layer two wallet with some USDC. If you can above 1000, do it. If not, do whatever you can. I know 1000 is a lot, but it's a number that is circulating in all the chats of speculation about DBank that I was able to research. So in order to do that, when you are already with your account, you can see here DBank layer two balance zero. So you can click there and you can deposit to the layer two. So you need to connect your wallet using MetaMask, Rabi wallet or any other wallet and deposit the layer two balance here. Maybe one of the criteria is to have some money here. So if you can put only $10, anyways, I recommend you to do it for now. Now, step 10, you can chat with people on Divan High. Some chat will cost you money to send a message. Others may be free, but try to interact. I think that also could help you to not be considered a civil, so you can follow people and start new conversations here. You need to put an address, a web ID or a memo. So let's start typing something and you can see how magically appears people here on the chat. Some of them are charging for the first uh, message. For example, you can see mass 23. If I click it, I can follow him. So follow a couple of people in order to do that. Also, you can see that in the previous step, step five, I share here the debug profile of, of my account. So you can follow me there. I will follow back as soon as I see you. So it's recommended to have followers too. And remember that if you are in my Discord, the subscription monthly is $10 only. Uh, we have a specific channel to follow each other on the debug account. So it's really worth it. Not many people is going to have that criteria probably. So once you are here, you can see this is $1 per message, but you can write something and then send this message if you want to follow this person. The current offer price is $1. Some of them are free, so you need to see that. Now step 11, use a stream section. This is basically for post, repost and comment. Here is the direct link, but it's also one of the options here. On the left panel, you go to stream. You can create a new post. You can follow posts. You can see the hot posts that there are here. And here you can repost, for example, this. You can also comment. So I recommend you to do that. Just anything, it will be okay. So post that in your comments. You can click on the trust button here. You can reward the people if you want. And the content credibility is something important. So try to post something that is going to give a good information so people would trust on that. But basically try to interact with this. Now, step 12 is make your voice here. Vote for proposals that matter to you. Um, better yet, make your own proposals and bring it to life. But this option is only if you have your Web3 ID. But in the vote section, you can go here, go to more, and you go to vote down here. Here you can see a lot of proposals for example, this one five minutes ago, just click there and you can click here to vote. So you can see now five people, I am one of them now that voted. You don't need the Web3 ID to vote, but you will need it if you want to create a proposal. So to create a proposal, you go to this button, but after this, you need you have your Web3 ID, so you will not be able to do it if you don't have it. But try to create a proposal that matter 
so people will follow you too. Step 13, maybe download the Debug mobile app. You can scan your code on the web version and use your mobile app. Don't think that this will be mandatory if they do an airdrop, but really who knows. Uh, you can see the button on the right side of the corner here, up here. So click there, you can scan the Debug app to log in. And down here you can also go to the Debug app, which is debug.com download and you can download it here, the app. Step 14, participate in the reward activities of Dbank. This is another section here that could worth uh, to look. It's also on the down part of the more section. Right now it's only one in progress until the end of August. The total reward amount is $10,000. There's no daily reward. And this is a Dbank data quality improvement proposal reward. During the activity, you can earn dollar rewards and Dbank points rewards by submitting data quality improvement proposals through the both function on the Dbank website. But remember to do that, uh, you need to have the Web3 ID that I don't think is mandatory right now. Try to catch this uh, reward activities, you may earn something too. And the last step is try swapping and using Ravi Wallet. Since it's a debunk product, you will be in good hands. So I think maybe a boost, I don't think it's mandatory, but maybe a boost if you use the Ravi Wallet. And additionally, Ravi doesn't have its own token. So there may be an airdrop as well. So you can go here to the Ravi.io. You can download the Chrome extension wallet and you can swap inside the wallet here. You can send, receive, swap, and more functions on this wallet. So I recommend you to use it also. And in the same way, you apply to the Ravi wallet using it. So guys, that is all my research on Dbank, all the functions covering the application, and all based on the data that I was able to research. Again, if you want to join to my subscriptions, I have a private Discord. The monthly subscription is only $10. You can join there. I have many channels that will help you. For example, how to use multiple wallets, questions if you are new on the crypto space and airdrop, testnet airdrops, meme airdrops, new airdrops that I don't cover on this channel, general questions about airdrops. I have big active airdrops where we chat about specific airdrops. We have BRC20, Bitcoin ecosystem airdrops, general crypto stuff, portfolio strategies, and much, much more. My Discord is growing, but I have a limit of people that I will allow because I want to keep the quality of the information that we manage. So it's not going to be open forever. Go to my website, the second link in the description. Here you can check the subscriptions and the videos to my airdrop application. This airdrop application will help you to apply to all my airdrops. That if you go to video section, you, are, you can see that I have hundreds of airdrops active right now. And you will be able to apply easily to each of these airdrops and in an organized way, even if you have multiple wallets and you are farming. So my app is a game changer for airdrop hunters too. Guys, that is all for Dbank. It could be this, the biggest airdrop of 2023. If they do it right, I think you can make thousands of dollars on this airdrop. But again, it's a possible airdrop, it's not confirmed. Guys, that will be all for the video. Remember, before we leave, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.